Hi everyone and welcome back to Two Minute Teas with TP. I'm Teresa Pun and I'm here once again with my Jasmine Jade Pearl Tea from Sloan Teas. I just want to continue my series on what to expect on day one of starting sublingual immunotherapy at your allergist office. Today I'm going to discuss the newest member to the sublingual immunotherapy family in Canada and that is a Kerzax. Excuse the glare. This is a house dust mite sublingual immunotherapy and as I said before they kind of use their own units so this one is 12 SQ HDM. I also want to give you an idea of what the packaging looks like inside and again please excuse the glare. There it is. With this packaging, it's similar to GrassTech and Ragwitech. I always advise patients to tear along each perforation, freeing up a cube segment at a time. You then identify the arrow and peel carefully in that direction. Once you take out one tablet, you place it sublingually, that's underneath the tongue. That's a great crevice right there. And you let it dissolve. Your saliva dissolves a binder that makes it something that you can hold Freeze up the house dust mite allergen, which is tiny enough to walk into the blood vessels underneath your tongue, simulating an injection. Now, you are putting something that you're allergic to directly into your mouth. So local side effects include some itching, tingling, numbness, a change in taste, and some slight swelling. Now, the symptoms are most prominent underneath the tongue, but as we continually swallow our saliva, you may get a few sensations at the back of your throat. For the vast majority of my patients, these side effects are quite tolerable. For patients who find it quite bothersome, they typically take an over-the-counter antihistamine about an hour before taking their tablet of sublingual immunotherapy. I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you again for our next video. Ciao!